hello beautiful people like share and subscribe uh so i want to tell you about uh one mr bankole i cannot tell now if he's an apc supporter um, but what we know is that this guy was celebrating the demolition of buildings in lagos uh, by uh, uh, tukumbo wahad you understand um claiming um it's um you know they were demolishing uh, buildings that were built on drainages and right now i think in abuja his building has been destroyed and guess who destroyed it uh it was the abuja uh, ministry that destroyed it so uh, i don't know i want to read a series of tweets the guys made this authentic news um so the guy's name is bankole akomo hale henrich so the guy was praising the lagos uh, state uh, commissioner that is doing a good job that if lagos is flooded we will blame him if the demolition touches edgy uh, sports will scream uh, blames he was blaming the lagos state go he was so happy so he was just crying yesterday now come happened to him so he was not crying that he's heartbroken that yesterday his 150 million naira investment in a poultry farm located in uh, local goma abuja was destroyed by guys from the fcda no warning no prior notice just destruction and over 5,000 beds are dead uh so the guy was also saying that uh how can this be legal in a country where he followed every legal process let it be he's saying that it was clear that he had the cfo and yes some individuals in the government felt it was okay to destroy what he has worked for and he was just complaining blah 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 that uh, over 50 workers are now thrown out of job and businesses in this hard time and uh, the families will now suffer because of the evil of some individuals operating under the guise of the FCD. By the FCD is in Abuja. Tell me why can't I farm on my private property? Why? Why? You understand? So people were now attacking him. But by the way, I don't think it's right for somebody. Let me tell you, even I'm not gonna lie for you, there was a point too. We are training beds in our house. I didn't see it as right. But you know the Nigerian system, everybody just doing like is a mad is a mad society. Is a jaga jaga society because there is no rule of law. We are not training a lot of beds. You understand what I'm saying? But as at then, even when my people complain, well, because some neighbors were complaining that the smell of the shit was disturbing them. I'm telling you this because I'm a real person. I know I don't know how to you know do things opposite me. I felt it was wrong, but you cannot tell that to my parents now. And we are the providers. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just telling you that something that is wrong is wrong. How can you not know that training beds in? Me, training birds, training fish, and all those things is wrong. In a system that works, you know, just to tell people to stop it. You go, I don't know whether we have environmental laws or anything. There should be zones. That's why I always mention zones in my channel. You know, if you want to train your poultry, go to those zones. If you want to train your fish, you can't be training fish, poultry, it's causing smell for everybody. Residential areas for human habitation, you know. So, now... People are calling out the guy, you know, make, making mockery of him. People are saying, come and hit him hard. You know, I, you know, uh, I don't understand. Just imagine him, he said he got all his paper, got everything. So he was even saying that, uh, uh, what was he even saying? That we, whether he wants to protest. So people are asking him, protest for what? You understand? What are you protesting for? You know, so he was even saying that uh, the FCT minister, when he seen the damage done by his administration, that he hopes that the first lady who asked us to start farming can see the rubbish. I hope no one will accuse me of treason when I carry placards because this is treason. I better shut up. All the APCs, about, anybody sees about seeing APC is a wicked person. It's wicked to the soul. I saw one of them now when I was watching one video on one YouTube channel. The stick, many of them are. I'm telling you, if they do a election today, let's assume that things go back to the. No, because I told you that I mentioned in this channel that Tinubu cannot improve Nigeria. Let's assume that things go back to the normal era it was under Buhab. Let's say cost of living. People will still vote Tinubu. Not that he improved it, though, that it went back to Buhari. And I mentioned, I always tell my friend that Tinubu cannot improve Nigeria. The highest Tinubu can do is to bring it back to that Buhari era. And that means he failed. Because he, he, he by the way, the man didn't even promise anything. You see, Kama, so who told. Uh, uh, who is telling Mr. Bankole that you, you cannot? No, it's because Nigeria is a lawless country. Normally, they actually they are not supposed to destroy his poultry. They're supposed to give him warning, serious warning, and maybe fine. Then the next one, 
maybe after two fines they will come and nigeria is a country just look at landmark look at the way they destroyed it i used to ask you a question during that time they, dis- they were destroying houses in lagos i said are you telling me people didn't get due process why are the people in the uh, lagos state house of uh, ministry of land not um, publicly um, uh, what do they call it tried they, because people were, there were clearly people that gave those people approval those people should be tried even if you want to demolish it, those people should be tried and then maybe you can find a little compass because those people are the main reason why those people built on this land and if those people didn't get any set, sort of approval then it can be justified a little bit you understand but government should even be preventing those things from happening there should be every state's capital or every region should have cars that will be driving those to be driving every day and those people will know things about land laws and everything they will come and give you a warning after warning they will give you a fine you understand if you're still doing the same thing that's how it works in every society that people are they are human beings there how much is it to uh, fuel a tank and truck divide the, like a, let me say abuja for example divide abuja into four we will be driving everywhere they will be driving they will be mont- monitoring them on, on map from the office and they will be going oh they will give you warning after warning after one week fine you know things like that those ones is another job too they will learn and they will learn the hard way let me know your thoughts so all this ap i don't know whether it's an apc supporter but i don't know anybody that his men mind is mentally okay will not support the demolition just like say Mkuti, that yeah yeah activist that can never protest on the road anybody that's clearly supporting any demolition is an APC, most of them are APC supporters. You cannot tell me that Sam Kuti has even said he prefers Tinibu, that useless guy. 